Hello pool players. Today's video is going to be on a bank shot. If you're a good banker, you may want to not watch this video, but if you're struggling with your banks and you want to learn something, I've got some real good physics lessons for you on this shot. First of all, let me set it up. I've got this brand new ball. I just bought it for this reason. It's a stripe ball. Couldn't get this one. This one's out. This is the elephant ball. Wish I could have found another one. Let me know if you guys know where I can get one, by the way. Uh, but what I've done here is I've lined up these stripes and we're going to shoot these shots in various ways and I think you're going to be surprised and it's going to help you with your banking game. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I'd like to do is just cover the basics of a bank shot when speed is involved. Here I'm just using the cue ball and watch how this goes along when I hit the shot very gently. I've put the lines out there so you guys can really see as a reference what is happening here. Now this is a little bit firmer hit. And that one of course goes in, but now watch what happens when we really pound the cue ball. Really shortens the angle. And I want you to be aware of it. Next, I wanna cover spin and its importance on a bank shot. Now in this case, think of this as the object ball and watch how it hits the far cushion. Here, I'm using center ball only, and you can see the stripe rolls nice and true. Next, I'll be moving my tip position one eighth tip to the right. Notice how the cue ball will go long of the side pocket. Here's the shot again in slow motion. And I want you to notice the cue ball has very little spin, but yet it goes well long. For our third shot, I'm going to be adding one eighth of a tip to the left. Watch how it shortens the angle in this case. And once again, let's take a look at this in slow motion and notice the subtle tip movement changes the outbound angle. Now it's time to add a ball and I'll be hitting center cue ball in this case. From here I want to show you the effects of spin transfer. With this center ball hit we only need to focus on angle in and angle out. Next check out what happens when I add right spin to the cue ball. Do you recall when I used just the cue ball and applied a little bit of spin? This is the same thing that's happening here. We're transferring spin to the object ball, thus changing the outbound angle off the cushion. Here's the shot once again in slow motion. You can really see the spin transfer in this case. This is why it's so important to understand spin and how it affects the object ball. This next shot was very interesting. I'm using left spin in this case. Notice how the ball goes in with no issue, yet I've used a lot of spin. What is happening here is the left spin imparts right spin to the object ball, thus creating running spin for the object ball to track towards the side pocket. Here's a super slow mo. Take a look at the left spin and how it imparts just a little bit of right spin on the red and white striped ball and then that sends it towards the side pocket with running spin. Another thing I attempted to do was to shoot one of my dirty balls versus this clean red and white striped ball. Notice here that I've got a little bit more spin on the cue ball on the shot to the left, which is the dirty ball, versus the shot to the right. Let me know what you guys think about this. It should be noted and taken into account that anytime we're shooting dirty balls, there's going to be more gearing effect. Thus, there will be more throw on an object ball. Another factor is speed. And I noticed here that the speed was just slightly different from one shot to the other. Because of this, it was hard to find the true effect and the differences between the clean and dirty ball. Now that we understand the physics of what happens when we use spin, let's take a look at this single rail bank where I get position on this nine ball. By using top inside right, I have a relatively easy shot. 
but there is a better way to get straighter on this 9. Since we know that speed and inside right spin shortens the angle, we can take advantage of that and double bank and get straight in on this 9. Now let's take a look at a real common situation on the table. Here, the nine ball is frozen to the cushion straight away from the cue ball. What often comes into play here is the dreaded double kiss. Here, I use top right. And sure enough, we see the double kiss. The secret to making these shots is to load up with inside spin and shoot center to edge with pace. And now for a great bank exercise. Notice here that I've got my object ball set up around the second diamond up table. And the cue ball is at the second diamond down table aligned with the object ball. But notice how the stripe is perpendicular to the object ball. With the stripe perpendicular, this will give us a valuable feedback as we perform the exercise. So now that we have the cue ball and the object ball aligned for an on-angle bank into the corner pocket, what I try to do is I try to perform a stop shot. And I'm looking for my perpendicular stripe to stay perpendicular as well as stop at the cue ball with a perfect stop shot. This is a great control exercise. I hope my bank shot video was helpful to many of you watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I answer everyone. Thanks for watching, and once again, like I always say, keep on practicing.